I'm showing you a tray that we call Fakiro Grill, okay, that is a tray created for grilling inside our chef top. It's a tray that we produce, is a combination of cast iron and aluminium, and it is a double function tray, because on this side, as you can see, is ribbed, so I can use for grilling. But if I flip over like this, on this side, I can use it for baking pizza, I can bake bread, I can bake focaccia, or I can simply use it as a fry top for making pear fry scallops, or if I want to make the skin of a duck breast crispy, I can use my fakiro to make it. This tray needs to be preheated, so this tray I'm going to take, open my chef top, and put inside of it. Okay? Then I'm going to create the cooking program for grilling. So I go back to the home page, I press on my setting, and with a, in, a very, in a very simple way I'm going to use the infinite mode, like this, infinite. I'm going to use 230 degree, okay? In this case, I'm going to use the maximum extraction of humidity, because I want to simulate what happens for real during a grilling process, okay? During the grilling process we have fire, so the condition is very dry. So we want to simulate exactly the same condition. What I need to do now is just to be press start. My chef top now is preheating to get ready for grilling. Okay. And while we preheat that, we show the hyper smoker. Okay? So now I want to show you one accessory that is part of the usage of the chef top. We call it hyper smoker. This small stainless steel box basically gives us the possibility to make smoking process inside our chef top my maps. Okay? We can cook and smoke at the same time. How to use this? It's very simple. We just need to open it like that. We can put the wood chips inside. As you can see here, we have some of our chef that work with our chef top that put inside herbs like uh, rosemary, sage and so on, or even tea leaves, okay, it depends on the kind of taste that they want to give to the product that they are going to smoke. Once that I fill properly my apple smoker, I just need to close it like this, okay. that I finish to fill my apple smoker, I just need to close it like this. I need to be sure that the hole here is completely in line with the hole that we have inside, because now this one I'm going to put inside our chef top. Okay, so I open the chef top, and here inside the, key, the cooking chamber I have a heating element where I'm going to put the hyper smoker. Can you see from there the heating element inside? Okay, so for, thanks to the usage of this eating element, I'm going to use our hyper smoker in a very simple way. I take my hyper smoker, I put inside like this. Okay. And now I'm ready to start to smoking. Okay, I will need to preheat my chef top first in order to accumulate the smoke inside my cooking chamber and then I can start the smoking process. The temperature that we can use for smoking is between 15 to 200 degrees. So we cannot do cold smoking but we can do cooking and smoking at the same time. For example we can smoke beef brisket, we can smoke salmon fillets or simply we can smoke a pork rib. Okay, it's up to you. The chef has the power to decide any kind of food that they want to smoke. To remove it, I just need to pull it like this, okay. remove like that, okay. and then I can continue. Now, I take it and I throw away the wood chips inside. Later I'm going to burn the wood chips to show you how is it inside. Okay, perfect. So now our chef top is ready to start to grill. As you can see, we reach the temperature. The oven indicates us to put the trays inside. Now, I just need to open and close the door because now I'm working in infinite mode. 
So if I want to cook different kinds of product, example, during the service, customer that arrival together at the same time, so I need to start step by step, but I need to have the oven always ready to go, I can work in this way, I can use the anything you want. The first cooking that I want to do, imagine, grilling like this, okay? We have some zucchini here. This is another tray that we produce called grill. In this tray, we are able to put our product directly on the tray, and we just need to open our chef top, place the tray inside our combi oven, and then close the door. The cooking automatically starts, okay? Now, just to be precise, I want to be sure to cook it for seven minutes. Okay, so I just said seven minutes. But, together with the zucchini, I can also cook other things. Example, here I have some beef. Okay, here I have two pieces of beef. What I need to do is just to hold the shelf top and place my beef steak directly inside my chef top like this, okay? Or, I have here some chicken. So here I have some chicken breast. I just need to, I mix a little bit because I season it with salt, pepper and olive oil. I take my chicken breast and one, two, And I want to exaggerate and I want also to bring some salmon fillet. Okay, so here I have the salmon, I marinate with olive oil and soy sauce, as you can see. So now I just need to take and bring right on my first little bit first. As you can see, I separate the product according on the kind of cooking that I want to do. So here I put the beef, here I put the chicken, here I put the salmon. In this way, I don't have any kind of contamination of the set of the taste and of the smell and of the everything. Okay? Now I just need to close my door and my chef top will gonna start to cook my products. Okay? Okay, so we had our first cooking that is ready. We open just our chef top. We take off our fridge salmon here. Yeah. Okay. One. And two. Here we go. Fridge salmon. At the same time, I also flip a beef steak because if you want to have the marking on both sides, we just need to flip our beef steak. Or, like in this case, I just move 90 degrees because I want to give the square marking to the meat. So now, we close our chef top and we continue with the other cookings. Okay, so now we have our mix that is ready as well. We open our chef top and we take off one and two. Depends on the kind of cooking or marking that we want to do. Okay, in this way we have just this traditional way of marking, so just the lines like this here, we wanted to give a square marking to our beef, so we just rotate 90 degrees, instead of this one that we mark also on the other side, okay? So now we have our chef top that has finished the grilling of our zucchini, so we just need to hold the top, use our towel here, Like this. Close the door because we need to add more time for our chicken. So we just press that, extend the time like this, and we continue the cooking. In the meanwhile, the grill. You see, now I put just one tray, but imagine in a five trays you can cook five trays of green zucchini all together at the same time. This is just an option, okay, so we are showing you just how to grill the zucchini here by using a grill tray. But as the grill tray, you can use also the fakiro tray, or the fakiro grill tray to mark the zucchini just with the lines as the traditional way, okay? Now in 1 minute and 20 seconds, we have also the chicken ready.
Okay, so now in 10 seconds we have also finished our chicken, so we finish our cycle of grilling. We grill the zucchini, we grill beef, we grill salmon, and now we are finished to grill also our chicken. So we open our chicken and we take our chicken breast. One, two, three. 